Welcome to this next episode in my series, A Protestant Looks at the Stations of the Cross. In this series, I've been focusing on episodes in the Gospel history that are part of the Stations of the Cross that illustrate the journey of Jesus to Calvary and beyond. The particular Station of the Cross that I've chosen today could be called Jesus, his mother and the beloved disciple. It's really a combination of two of the traditional Stations of the Cross that you might see in churches. Jesus meets his mother and then Jesus on the cross with people watching below, which included the woman who followed Jesus and the beloved disciple. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This illustrates something that goes back to the to the early stages of Luke's Gospel where the aged Simeon says to Mary, though a sword shall pierce your own heart also, when Mary saw Jesus on the road to Calvary and then on the cross, the sorrow in her own heart increased. We're told that standing by the cross of Jesus, there was Mary, his mother, Mary, the wife of Clophas, his mother's sister, and Mary Magdalene, and also the beloved disciple. And Jesus looked at Mary, his mother, and the beloved disciple, and he said to Mary, his mother, Behold your son, and to the beloved disciple, Behold your mother. And from that time onwards, the beloved disciple took the mother of Jesus into his own home. You might find some discussions amongst scholars about whether the beloved disciple was a close blood relation of the family of Jesus. That doesn't really affect what I'm thinking about today, which is partly that Jesus made provision for his mother in the days that he saw coming ahead where he would no longer be walking the earth as he had done before and therefore no longer able to support her. And that's of particular relevance, perhaps to me and to others, this year in times of lockdown, when we are no longer able to visit our family members in the way that we would like. And to some degree, we are relying on others to take the place that we would have or do in this situation. And so a prayer that goes with the Stations of the Cross. I love you, Jesus my love above all things. I repent with my whole heart of having offended you. Never permit me to separate myself from you again, but grant that I might love you always and then do with me what you please. Thank you for watching this series and this episode in this series of A Protestant Looks at the Stations of the Cross. I hope that you'll join me for, future, for the future episodes as we follow through the story. Bye for now.